Welcome to our first episode of Connector IQ. I'm Max Kalik, Internal Applications Engineer at PEI Genesis. Today we are going to discuss how to select the right connector for your application's needs. Now let's go over the four crucial variables you need to consider. First, we need to determine wire gauge range. Now the wire gauge will relate to the size of the contacts, and the size of the contacts will help us determine which connector series we can use for your application. Typically, a contact 16 AWG or larger is associated with transmitting power, while a contact smaller than 16 AWG is associated with transmitting signal. Knowing your wire gauge or contact size ensures that your connector can handle the electrical load without failure or overheating. Next, we need to figure out how many circuits are required. How many circuits equals how many wires, and how many wires translates to how many contacts we need. Together, the number of circuits with the gauge of the wire will influence the layout needed in your connector. You will need to be sure that the connector series you select will have the layout that suits your needs. Third, we need to consider if water jet sealing or a specific IP rating is necessary for your application. This is crucial when selecting the correct connector since different series of connectors seal in different ways and meet different standards. Options include submersible, individual wire sealing, and cable jacket sealing. Selecting the right sealing type ensures that your connections are protected from dirt and moisture, which is crucial for reliability. Finally, we need to determine if EMI RFI shielding is required. If your wires need shielding, then the connector that you select needs to carry the protection over the connection to ensure no leakage or interference. This protects your connection from interfering signals and typically differentiates economical connectors from mid-range cost ones. If your application is in a noisy electrical environment or a radiation-heavy outer space, then shielding is essential to maintain signal integrity. Remember, by answering these four questions, you should be able to determine the connector series that fits your needs. First, determine the wire gauge range. Second, determine the number of circuits. Third, consider the environment and ceiling needs. Finally, keep in mind the radiation and electrical interference that your connector will encounter. For more information, we have a connector selection guide which I will link below to help you further with selecting the right connector for your application. And there you have it. You are now on your way to selecting the perfect connector for your application. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.